My name is Maddie Lois, and I work as the program director for Engage um, in partnership with DISH, um, delivering innovative, supportive housing. I'm here in the Tenderloin, San Francisco. It's been a very busy but beautiful process, um, collaborating to organize an exhibition um, of resident artists, as well as a quilt that includes staff and residents of the DISH buildings. Um, it's been a wonderful process. Over the last couple weeks, we've been building both the resident community art show, as well as a hope quilt. Um, and the hope quilt comes from traditions and kind of social, socially engaged art practices like the AIDS Memorial Quilt, which is also built in San Francisco, or started in San Francisco. Um, and it's a quilt that is built from contributions from residents and staff responding to what hope means to them during this time, um, experiencing coronavirus, as well as kind of the social and political atmospheres that have been quite tense over the last um, year, year and a half or more, depending upon what generation the residents are from. Um, I really wanted to offer the opportunity for residents to express themselves in a creative way and in also um, a way that offered them an opportunity to be socially distant at the same time, so building quilt squares on their own um, and then coming together in a community format. It was a, there was a definite rapport building period for the residents and myself. I work across three buildings um, and sometimes more with the greater community. Um, and we had to get to know each other in the beginning and coronavirus has been, has totally, has really impacted a lot of people's uh, lives and kind of mental health and comfortability around others. Um, but it's been a great experience. I think I've now been here a little over six months and the residents really engage with me in a beautiful way. Uh, they really appreciate having the opportunity to do um, thoughtful and creative projects both in their homes and then in small kind of distance grouped activities. Um, I think it's given them the opportunity for reflection, um, to build resilience in a time like this, um, and to bring them hope. We are currently rolling. Shake it all out. If you've got any type of butterflies, don't worry. <laughs> What is your name and what building do you currently live in? My name is Angelina Marie Whitaker and I live at the Lorraine Hotel. My name is Kimberly and I live at the Empress Hotel. Tracy Buchanan, I lived here about a year now. Well, I've been quite depressed, but because of art, I've been allowed to express myself, share some of my feelings, and just enjoy it. And what inspires you about making art? Maddie. Maddie? <laughs> can, you, uh, can you elaborate a little bit on that? Tell uh, us about Maddie. She was quite warm and touching, and I could allow myself to be expressive with her and relax and let go and not feel pressurized. It's really, it's, it gave me a peace of mind when I do art and I just think about other things and let things go and could, and do my art like I, you know, choose to do it. How would I choose to make out of it? It's, it's beautiful. My artwork? Yes, oh man, amazing. Took me a lot of places. Took me to, to a lot of places I never thought I would be in. You know, I just got recently, you know, being stressed out and, um, going through a lot of things, but it helps me. But now I'm learning more about who I am and it's making me feel even better. My name is Mary Hogue. Uh, we're at my shop in the Mission. It's called Mission Praxis. And everything is handmade here in the shop or in the neighborhood. I primarily focus on sewing. I've been a seamstress for about 20 years. We've made two quilts in memorial for people who have been killed by the police here in the area. And those have both been gifts to the family of the person who passed. And uh, then this quilt, the Hope Quilt, is I actually really like because it's um, bringing in that same beauty and joy and comfort into a situation, but elevating people who are still here. With this quilt, each square is honoring an individual person. And so my favorite part is hearing the stories and just hearing about how they made it, hearing about their lives, and 
imagining that and it just makes me excited to meet everyone and makes me want to be best friends with everybody. <laughs> yeah, so each person is so special, just beyond measure. So I hope that when they see this quilt and they see what Maddie and I have put on, into it, they see our love and appreciation for them and that they matter and they're shining lights in this world. Okay, that's good. Maurice, how you doing, brother? How you doing? <laughs> Just let the world know that there's a brighter place in your brain if you just take the time out to be quiet and listen and to achieve what you have and don't let nobody take what you believe from you. Thank you. All right, brother.